Hello and welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. Today, we're going to look at how you can use the CAE exporter in Fidelity Pointwise to save your surface meshes in the S Pen format that is native to the Fidelity Charles Solver. So, Fidelity Pointwise is our best in class meshing tool, enabling you to generate high quality surface and volume meshes for various CFD applications, including wall model LES. On the other hand, the Fidelity Charles is our large eddy simulation solver that can be used for extremely accurate scale resolving simulations with GPU resident performance and great scalability. Fidelity Charles has its own mesher called Stitch that uses the Voronoi meshing technique to generate volume grids for wall resolved or wall model LES with a short turnaround time. You do, however, need to import your computational domain, including your CAD model, into Stitch in a surface binary or S-Bin format. In this video, I will show you how to use the CAE exporter in Fidelity Pointwise to save your surface meshes in the native S-Bin format that can be imported directly into Stitch. Okay, here I have the geometry for the high-lift CRM that is ready for surface meshing. I've actually already used the Automatic Surface Mesher, or ASM, in Pointwise to mesh this geometry. Before I move any further, I will choose Select Solver under the CA menu. Here from the list, I pick Fidelity Charles. Next, I would like to create the far field as well as the symmetry boundaries for this half-span model. So selecting all the domains for the high lift CRM, I go to Create, Automatic Volume Mesh and choose Create Volume Mesh Boundaries. Remember, the goal here is to only create the boundaries of our computational domain as we will perform the actual volume meshing in Stitch. Let me go ahead and choose a shape for my computational domain. I'm going to go with a semisphere and we'll set the radius to 15,000 units, uh, which is a little over 50 reference lengths. Now, I'm going to click on Create Volume Mesh, but like I said, this will only create the remaining boundaries of our computational domain since I haven't checked this Populate Volume Mesh on Command Completion checkbox. So I push the Flashpoint button and we have our computational domain created for us. Now, this next step that I'm going to show you is very important. When creating our volume mesh in Stitch, we would like to have control over the grid resolution on different boundaries of our setup. More importantly, we also need to be able to apply boundary conditions to different components of this setup when we run the Fidelity Charles Solver. What's great about our native CAE exporter is that it allows us to define all of our boundary sets right here in Fidelity Pointwise. So once again, from the CAE menu, I will choose Set Boundary Conditions. Here, I will create several BC sets and will name them appropriately. I would like to have separate zones for the wing, fuselage, vertical and horizontal tails, flap track fairings, as well as symmetry and far field boundaries. Now, I can select the domains either from the GUI or using the filter by name tool on the list panel, and then add those selected domains to a BC set. Okay, so I've assigned all my domains to their corresponding boundary condition sets. The last thing I need to do here is to select my block and go to File, Export, CAE. Since I have the CA solver already set to Fidelity Charles, Pointwise will export this block in the Charles native SPIN format. I just give the SPIN file a name and click Save. We now have our SPIN file that we can import directly into Stitch for volume meshing and then running the larger simulation in Fidelity Charles. Please check out other videos on our channel that focus more on techniques and best practices for volume meshing in Stitch for wall resolved and wall model LES.
Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.